I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker god, ran all the cyber terrorism for the Syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Kinsey, where's my gun? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Are you kid- What the fuck is on the screen? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Fuck me, not again. Damn it, the camera's screwed up. <sighs> you just have to deal with it. Easy for you to say, you're not dealing with the top-down bullshit. Anytime you want to fix this, Kinsey. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Thank you. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. About time I get to cause some property damage. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked it worse. All the same, what is it you think you accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. What I hope to accomplish is to put a bullet in your fucking head. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Man, I was just warming up! We got a situation here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Oh, you share. That's two. One more to go. And yeah, thanks, by the way. For what? For not spawning any more tanks to kill me. God, are you so mad about that? You said I was sorry. Surprisingly, near-death experience is totally sticky. Bitch down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Some help, Kinsey. Wait, let me try something. That's right. Right on. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. 
Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying... That sounds scary. It's a quote from Macbeth. Man, fuck Shakespeare. Jane Austen or go home. So what am I getting into? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Eh, who needs a plan when you can just walk into a virtual hellhole? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Awesome. What's happening? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute death. This can't be good. This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one. True. The human race would be much safer without you. Every time I used a computer like that, someone died of dysentery. Whoa, wait, hold up. Is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. No one fucks with Miller but me. Zinyak, you're gonna pay for this. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. Behold my empire. Not gonna lie, I was expecting something a bit more impressive. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Matt, it's time for you to pick up the phone and see the real world.
don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He could take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. You're really making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kenzie, this is not a time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. I was talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. It's supposed to make that noise? Are you breaking my power armor? Uh, maybe? If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Guns on this bad boy. Oh, um, I do have time to get them working, so. Are you fucking kidding me? I found your power armor. Because of this missing stuff. Kenzie, how the hell am I supposed to get this thing through the door? Ugh. Oh my god, this is a real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and. Oh, look, Kenzie, you weave worlds like a goddess with a brush. Okay, okay, alright, I'll figure something out. You gotta help me out here. This thing doesn't have fingers. How the fuck am I getting this door open? Brute force works. More Zen. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. So much for a challenge. long to have a robot. This is what I dreamed of when I was in third grade. Only I was killing a lot fewer people in my third grade dream. My town, my rule. Those things are full of people, aren't they? Maybe, but I don't think the Zen abducts humans exclusively. I gotta be close. One of the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? Fuck if I know. It's not like someone left a note. Get away 
from me! I mean it! I was hoping you'd find some pants, man. About time I was rescued! Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. That's what I'm saying. Kenzie's trying to call this shit power armor. So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that make happen? Kinsey said the guns are missing... stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. to mine! Set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's a real fancy gun, Matt. It's more than just a gun. Good job, Matt. Much better than blood trauma. I'd like one of these for everyday use. I'm on stop. Where you at? I'm close. I'm also lying. But I'll be there as soon as I can. And hey, there's more of them coming. I am the one who knocks.
The guns aren't working. I did what I could. I company fix it right now. Shit. I'm here. Get to me. Get to the ship. sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive! Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Boss, I'm picking up major readings coming from your area. I think... That one of those giant aliens are coming. So Yak must be pissed about Matt. <laughs> up another training program for you. Here, use this to test out that stomp thing. So I just bang my foot down? Yep, and the blast wave will hurt them and throw them back. Guessing I can find clusters with this power? Yep, Stomp should make the clusters pop up. Here, try using it to take down a warden's shield. Looks like it works. Sending you back now. Super Power Fight Club! The rules are simple. Survive! Each round bits the player against tougher and tougher enemies. Prove your worth, and you'll be rewarded with a boss battle! The faster you finish, the more
bonus points you get. Let's go to the floor. Welcome to Super Power Fight Club! Wave one! Fight! That's right! Wave two, Burning Man! Can the challenger take the heat? Welcome to the arena, Nightblade! And Nightblade is down! That does it for this round of Super Power Fight Club!